The OnePlus C is incredible and I'll be sharing the details right after this. Today's video is sponsored by Wondershare UniConverter. UniConverter is an all-in-one DVD and video converter, video editor and DVD burner. You can convert videos in all of the popular formats and thousands more. It allows you to download and record videos from YouTube and other platforms. You can convert photos and videos to GIFs and compress videos without losing quality. UniConverter has all of the features in one single program that you'd normally need about three or four separate apps for and of course the the download link is down in the description below so make sure you give it a try today. So another week has gone by and we've got more news about the OnePlus C or as it may be called the OnePlus Nord. We've got news of camera specs and fast charging and we also have the device appearing in some new certification. Before we get started though please like the video if you're looking forward to the OnePlus C and let me know in the comments if you think it's going to be called the OnePlus C or the OnePlus Nord. For those who don't know Max J tweeted let's play a game with the letter N followed by three spaces. He was of course his hinting at the OnePlus C being called the OnePlus Nord, but we're going to have to wait and see if this is actually correct. Personally, it just seems like a strange name to me, and I would much prefer the budget smartphone from OnePlus to be called the OnePlus C. Certification has appeared for the AC2003, which is believed to be the OnePlus C, and it confirms that we're going to be getting a 5 volt 6 amp charging, which means 30 watt fast charging support. Given that it's OnePlus, it's also likely that the 30 watt warp charger is going to ship inside the box. We also have a report that the OnePlus C could come with a quad camera setup using three cameras in a vertical alignment with the fourth directly underneath the LED flash. The report claims that the OnePlus C is going to have a 48 megapixel primary, a 16 megapixel ultra wide, a 2 megapixel macro lens and the fourth is going to be a depth sensor or a color filter. While this may be good news for some, I'm actually hoping it's untrue. When it comes to budget devices, we quite often see quad camera setups but for me I'd rather just have one or maybe even two well performing cameras instead of four cheaper ones that just give us different types of shots. Personally I think we're only going to get three cameras and the previous survey spec leak we had did actually agree with this. It confirmed a 5G enabled smartphone using the Snapdragon 765 CPU, a 90Hz screen, a 4300mAh battery with 30 watt fast charging and finally the triple camera setup. The survey showed us we'll be getting a 64 megapixel primary sensor along with a 16 and a 2 megapixel camera. Previously it was reported that it could be a 48 megapixel primary but the new survey said 64 and this could mean that we get the 64 megapixel Sony IMX686 that was rumoured so early on. We also have confirmation of a 16 megapixel ultra wide and the 2 megapixel depth sensor. There's unfortunately no way to authenticate the information in this survey spec leak and it does disagree with others slightly so we're going to have to wait and see how much truth is actually behind this. OnePlus scheduled an online event for the 2nd of July that was to launch some budget TVs and many assumed that the OnePlus C was also going to launch alongside. New information from Android Central disagreed with this though and we're now under the impression that the OnePlus C is going to launch at its own online only event on the 10th of July. When it comes to the upcoming smartphone we've already had all the details of the OnePlus C including design, specs, launch date and the price so we're going to run through it all now. For my regular viewers you guys have already seen this so just skip to the next video but if you're new here then make sure you hit subscribe and we're going to get right into it. As we covered, the OnePlus C has a full screen display with a punch hole selfie camera top center. The display is reportedly going to be a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 2340 by 1080 which gives us 403 pixels per inch. We already know that this is also going to be at least a 90Hz display considering OnePlus officially said that all future models would be. There are rumors saying that it could be 120Hz but these appear to be untrue. The display will of course be protected by Gorilla Glass but at this moment in time we don't know what version. There's going to be no fingerprint scanner on the rear of the OnePlus C so it's pretty safe to assume that we're going to get the in-display fingerprint scanner. When it comes to the selfie camera on the front there are many different rumors floating around but many agree that it's going to be a 12 megapixel sensor. 
When it comes to the rear of the OnePlus C, we've got a vertical camera alignment and a dual camera setup with the LED flash. Early leaks were suggesting that it could be a triple camera setup, but these also turned out to be false. As we covered earlier, the lack of a physical fingerprint scanner on the back means we'll be getting an in-display one. When it comes to the rear cameras, reports are suggesting that the primary camera is going to be a 48 megapixel sensor and the secondary will be a 16 megapixel ultra wide and of course we get the LED flash on the bottom. The OnePlus C's cameras are going to support both optical and electronic image stabilization. We've got the power button and alert slider on the right hand side of the OnePlus C with the volume buttons on the left. The phone is of course powered by USB type C and there's no 3.5mm headphone jack. Many people early on reported that the OnePlus C was going to be powered by MediaTek's Dimensity 1000, but it's just not going to be the case. The OnePlus C is going to be powered by the Snapdragon 765G, and the smartphone is going to come with a choice of 128 or 256 storage, and also 8 or 12 gigs of RAM. The use of the Snapdragon 765G also means that this phone will have 5G support and for those that aren't concerned with 5G it will of course support earlier LTE networks and below. The phone dimensions measure in at 159.2 by 74 by 8.6 millimeters and it's all going to be powered by a 4000 milliamp hour battery with support for 30 watt fast charging. When it comes to the pricing, it's still very much unknown at the moment, but it will of course have to be lower than the 8. Many were estimating that the range was going to start around $450, but I think it could actually be lower. The $450 leak came out very early on, and the market has changed a lot since that time. With the iPhone SE at $400 and the Pixel 4a expected to be $350, it is creating some very fierce competition in the mid-range market, so if OnePlus want to compete here, then they're going to have to do the same. Overall though, it's looking like a great phone that's offering a lot for the price and it's nice to see OnePlus going back to what they know best. For those of you that want to purchase one though, it's being launched next month in July. We don't know exactly what date yet, but Max J has hinted at July and he has been fairly reliable when it comes to the OnePlus information. Now unfortunately, that's all the news I have for you guys today, but as more solid information comes in, I'll be sharing it straight away. As always though, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments, who out there is waiting for the OnePlus C, and if not, then what phone are you waiting for and do you think it's going to be called the OnePlus C or the OnePlus Nord? But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash a thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.